I mean, the industry just was, you know, shit. Everybody wanted the cash money sound. So to a lot of people, that was that was kind of like the coolest thing that happened. It was just like, shit, the brainchild, the producer is he over here. You can get beats from him. And the nuts thing that that happened, I remember right after Hurricane Katrina, I had so many people trying to get with me to it was just like, I was like, wow, I couldn't believe, like, because all of that was masked from me before. Like, you know, nobody would tell me people were calling. Nobody would say, like, oh, game call for you. Nobody would say, like, you know, um, it, th that list goes on and on. Anybody that was in hip hop, like, you know, nobody never told me, like, these people wanted to do records with me. And I remember, like, right after Hurricane Katrina, like I said, I left with my tennis shoes and a drum machine. And I just met like the the right people, you know, and it was just like, I got work for you. I got work for you all over the place. And I just remember like, God damn, like within maybe like two months, I made like a million dollars and I was just like, what? I was like, God damn, somebody just been holding me back from all of this shit. But the crazy thing that came out of it was I had so much debt like, you know, from, like I said, being in trouble with taxes, about to leave my house. My only goal was to pay off everything. I was like, you know what? I'm just happy to be alive. If I wake up every day, I'm good. You know, I'm like, my kids are in good health. Everybody's good. I'm good. So I pretty much got to the point where I paid off everything that was going on with me or whatever. But it still kind of showed me the uglies of everything that was going on because, I mean... I was signed to Cash Money prior to leaving Cash Money, and they wouldn't release me. So that made it even like crazier for me because I still wanted to, you know, I wanted to do my artist thing. The only thing I could do was do beats.